Today's video, I'm going to show you an incredible zone beating concept on a trip side end. This will also do pretty decent against man coverage. And the player we're going to be taking a look at today is the play curl flat. Now, if you want to get my entire trip side end offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that down in the description for just 10 bucks. You'll be able to get access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. And we actually are just dropping a really big update to the trip side end scheme, as well as a lot of our schemes with the recent patch update. So make sure you're in the Patreon. You get access to everything by being a member. Now, the setup for this play in trip side in is we're on the uh, Packers playbook. We're going to want to make sure that our trips is to the wide side of the field. This is going to give us really good spacing. And then we're just going to curl the inside trips receiver, and we are going to streak the running back. Now, what you're going to see is the main um, man beating route on this play is actually the curl route on the left-hand side. Now, the corner route on uh, to the tight end, it can also beat main coverage. But really the best man beating route is his curl route right when he comes back to the ball you're just going to basically pass it that down i'm not free forming it any certain way uh, i'm just basically passing it down and um really really effective again you'll see right here just boom and you see that it's able to beat man coverage now depending on uh where the zones are and where some of the adjustments start to go maybe they'll drop a little curl flat over there um you know kind of depends on where their user is going to go Typically, what we're going to get is they're going to get this linebacker on the running back, and you're going to get this guy on the safety, and then they're going to use her. This guy, they might have a yellow here um, or something. Okay, so we're just going to anticipate that those are the coverage adjustments they put on the field defensively. And this is going to open up this corner route a lot more when the safety's on him. You're going to throw it, and if he ever is not open, you can just easily click on and ag catch it. Um, if you have the tight end apprentice, you could put the short corner on the field if you think it's man coverage. Um, the short corner route will do a little better job at being able to beat man against cover one. Another thing I want to show is this tight end. If you free form and high point it, you can almost kind of turn this into almost like a streak route to the right where it can get over one on one coverage. So that's another little thing uh, about this play. And then we'll talk about zone here in just a second. But again, you can kind of just free form it. And a lot of times you can actually catch that in this game, which is crazy. OK. So I want to talk about zone. This is where this, this play really shines is what it can do against zone. One other thing I did want to say about man coverage, let's say they go to the right to try to defend the running back. If there's no yellow zone in the middle of the field, you can throw this middle curl as well. So that's something else. Both curl routes beat man uh, is all I wanted to say about that. And then let's talk about cover four, cover three, and cover two. And we're going to also talk about Mabel coverage. So against cover four or cover three, uh, this corner route to the right side, the reason we're using that running back streak and the reason we're using our trips to the wide side is it's going to put our tight end to the short side. So what that does is it allows us to clear out any kind of outside third or outside quarter by utilizing our running back on a streak. Here you see the running back kind of got caught up in the line. If the running back gets caught up in the line of scrimmage, then uh, you're going to need to look backside to your curl routes because it, you're not going to get this route. But once he cuts up field, as soon as he gets up field vertically, this uh, this corner route becomes much, much more open, okay? So use this corner route against uh, press cover three, cover four, really good. It's actually incredible against cover two, which we'll show in just a second. But you see here, he'll kind of bail back to the running back. If he doesn't bail back to the running back, you can throw it. Um, so that you, you have that as well. But let's talk about cover two. So cover two. Uh, this corner route is going to get deep enough that it's going to get over the top of a cloud flat. Uh, same kind of thing here with the running back route. It depends on the zone, but typically in a standard cover two, the D path is going to guard the running back. So when the D path goes to defend the running back, then um, you're going to be able to throw this kind of right in this little pocket right here on the sideline. For some reason, the D paths are actually playing a little bit more horizontal than I'm used to normally. Um, that's a pretty clean, uh, clean cut route against cover two. But again, if they start doing that, you can always just hit this right up here in the seams. And you can do that against cover three or cover four. Um, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a read at the end of the day. Okay. Now the main reason why this play is so good though, and this is what a lot of people are doing defensively is they are using basically a 25 and five double flat style defense. And they're either sending four or they're sending five. Now, most people are doing this and they're sending four. So I'm gonna show you what that might look like. Let's say, um, you know, let's say we just did a defense looks like this and we're gonna send four. So we're gonna send this guy and we're gonna play our double flat. This is what a lot of people are running right now. This is gonna put the middle linebacker in a position where they're gonna have to choose. And a lot of people are doing this out of 
uh, four, three, even six, one. So basically what's going to happen here is this curl on the left is going to be able to, and I should have just thrown the running back. The curl on the left is going to get into a really soft spot against double Mabel as well as the, um, as well as the, the running back streak. So again here, if he goes to the curl route, which the stock zone will, typically the user will go to the running back um, because they're going to assume that that curls on a streak. But anyways, this guy's wide open of the scene. So they have to respect your running back streak. And then because they have to res respect your running back streak, then what you're going to be able to do is your curl is going to be sitting wide open in the middle of the field to the left. So again, the flat's just going to pull all the zones outside. The corner rat's going to pull the zones out. And you see you've got your curl right here. Now, a really underrated read that you can make against a double Mabel uh, defense or just a basic cover three for that matter, and it is a little bit of a late read, but if they're putting their curl flats on five, um, you can actually throw this curl route right there. I didn't get a good pass lead on it, um, or I didn't get a good speed of pass on it, but you can throw that curl route against a standard cover three if they're not putting, like if they're putting cover three hard flat or... You know, they're doing the shaded down cover four stuff. This is another read that you can do. A lot of people, what they like to do right now in cover four is they basically just run cover four stock and they're going to use her yellow. Well, look at this curl route on the left. You're going to see it's wide open against that defense. So that curl route on the left is really kind of the last read on the play, uh, but it is not a bad read at all, especially against main coverage. Uh, you'll see. And then here, here's cover two. And we can just, if they're playing us in a basic cover two, then of course you can always check down uh, to your flat. But what's also, I think, really interesting is the fact that a cover four typically is not going to be able to defend uh, this running back streak because the corner route is going to get open because they're going to have to respect the running back streak so much. Guys, this is a simple route combination on trip tied in. I think trip tied in is truly one of the better offenses um, this year because there's so much you can do uh, with the tight end. A lot more this year, I think, than you used to be able to. And the other cool part about it is it's fairly simple to run. we got a full ebook on it on the Patreon, allowing you to see it against the best defenses in the game. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the full ebook on Tripside In, join the Patreon at the link down in the description.